First down, moving the sticks. The pace is accelerating as well. This pass hits Fernia, and he's got open room. Ethan Fernia, touchdown, UCLA. That pass is intercepted. The deflection and the diving play by Isaiah Polamau. Thompson Robinson design run with a burst through the hole and down the sideline into USC territory. Dorian Thompson Dorian Robinson Thompson has had a fantastic year with his legs. Handoff Felton, he is swallowed. Drake Jackson, turnover on downs. Coming off the Bruins interception. DTR down the middle, Solstich in stride, and the tight end who leads the Bruins in receiving yards goes to the house. Slovis on the rollout on first and goal, into the end zone, touchdown. Drake London, his second one tonight. One yard shy of his career long. To take the lead, Bar Mira, it is good. UCLA with 52 seconds to go, Kick back out good, in front. Yes. RJ Lopez sends this away for the Bruins. And this will be returned by Gary Bryant Jr. The first kick brought back tonight, and Bryant taking advantage. He's in midfield and finally put out inside the 45. Still so much time left. Very early in the third quarter. Both teams have already struck with a touchdown in the third quarter. Up second and seven. I think that was another missed handoff that time. I think uh, Felton was supposed to take the fake or, or get the uh, run, run pass option. Quick connection with Dulcich for a first down. Greg Dulcich, redshirt sophomore from Passes Glendale, actually came into the game. He's Greg a tight Dulcich. end, a converted wide receiver, but the leads uh, UCLA, UCLA in down. receiving yards on the season. We haven't called his name much tonight. First and 10 from the 38. See a lot of running backs, though, catching passes, tight ends for UCLA, whereas USC much more dependent on their wide receivers. Thompson Robinson fakes it, keeps it, and is forced to slide for a loss. He did a good job that time, Dorian realizing Thompson he was pretty Robinson much running into a, a dead zone right there with the defensive uh, uh, coming into his face and decided to just drop down to the ground, make sure he didn't get a turnover there or Lost lose additional two, yards. Second and 12. This time the give to Felton, and that one results in a loss. Good play coming up. Nick Figueroa, who led USC with three sacks, a career high last week against 50, Washington State. Well, seems like this Trojan defense has got Lost some energy right play, now, AJ. If they 13, can get this uh, from the stop, UCLA right here, it's third and 13. Get the ball back in the hands of their offense. We, we got us a game here. Screen pass. Thompson Robinson to Felton down the sideline and shy of the first down. Pass complete to so the UCLA with the three and out. And this USC Chris team, Steele they've been a tackle. comeback team all year. Chip Kelly hoping doesn't happen to his Bruins. Well, you you mentioned it, you know, that up down uh, and USC four is a team 44. that's able to come back because they really have that run and shoot uh, kind of mentality where they're not running the ball a lot. Their offense is based upon passing, which if you were to say this, you know, maybe 10 to 15 years ago, people would say, no, USC, they run the ball. Luke not Gators today. They are a passing team. UCLA, I think that was a design fake. Hard to say. Luke Akers, either he was so concerned about a block, he tried to move out of harm's way, or it was a fake gone awry. And USC gets the ball back with fine field position. USC doesn't care what's supposed to happen right there. They like the results of it. You know, they now have the ball, and they're on that side of the ball. Based on the coaching staff's reaction, that was not the game plan. Akers, I think he saw the rush coming and just didn't feel like he could get that ball off. Well, that's, there's some energy, like I said, coming from the USC Trojans right there on defense, and that was the result of it. You're right. Too much pressure, and the kicker saw it and said, I can't punt the ball here. The star safety, Hufanga was the one who broke through for USC. And if you're Akers, you, you have to try, right, to punt that one off. He's going to get USC the same result. The if 31. you can get it off, guess what? Even if they may deflect it, it's going to be further than where it is now. At the 31, USC starts with the ball. Slovis, under a bit of pressure, lobs it up for Carr. Carr's got some space. 
and he has nine for USC. Job, and one of the things I've, I've talked about That's earlier, and I like to see Boone in McCoy. quarterbacks, is how they keep their feet and their poise in the pocket. This young man right here has a lot seven, of poise. Still got a lot of rainbow of sort of on dropping play. on his pass. Had he got that ball Second out there a lot one. sooner, the receiver could have done a little bit extra with it. 2019 Pac-12 Offensive Freshman of the Year. One of the best freshmen in the country last season. Now it's back to Carr. He's got room to operate again. Lowers the head and delivers a blow. It's Knight who was hit hard that winds up recovering and tackling Stephen Carr with a flag, flag down on in the play. play. Well, USC goes right back to Carr this time on the ground. And showing some speed and some power. The highly recruited Stephen Carr. Stephen Carr, I mean, he was brought in, the number three running back recruit in the country, rated by ESPN, has never really lived up to expectations, but trying to make his mark late as a senior, and of course, potentially could get an extra year, if he chooses, can come back for an extra year next year, with everyone Second getting the free year the of eligibility across NCAA football. Male Payai back in the backfield for USC on this play. Slovis rolls out. Slovis fires it into the sidelines, third and five. A yeah, good decision right Slovis there. Don't want to try to force complete, anything. For You've got good field Tyler position, and, and Slovis did a good job. Just wanted to get rid of that ball right there to make sure it didn't result in a negative play. Play helps him unhappy with the officiating down crew. Down and five. Any type of score would get the Trojans back within one possession. Recently trailed by 18. The failed punt attempt by Akers setting up USC. It's a first down to Vons, and it's more. Vons coming off the touchdown catch, gets out at the 10. Good job by Vons again. Sort of the same type of hitch play out to the outside. He was able to catch that ball. Good plant that USC hand and foot down. into the ground and get upfield for some additional yardage. Vons has just been steady, Rodney, over the course of his career. A four-year starter honored on a Pac-12 postseason team every single year of his career so far. Early on the field as the receiver caught the ball and then advanced uh, additional yardage. The play is now under replay review. From the 19, that review with a difference of nine yards. Plunging ahead is... Ravai Male Pei for USC. And we see USC Levi trying to you know, speed up the pace uh, to try to keep that momentum going, but also keep that Brought defensive unit Johnson. for the Bruins off balance as well, not giving eight. them a chance to recover. This has been a long drive. Especially considering it only started at the 31. Slovis throws low. St. Brown, though, hauls it in. That's a good catch right there by uh, St. Brown. Not a great Saint throw Brown. by Slovis, but a good receiver did, did what he's supposed to do. That ball comes anywhere near your hands. You need to yank that ball in, and, and St. Saint Brown did a great job Third really getting that ball off the ground and the it 14. Some thought that St. Brown might opt out coming into this season, currently projected as a second-round pick in the NFL draft upcoming, but I think St. Brown probably helped his draft stock this year by coming back to USC and playing well. His seventh catch of the game. Third and five, here's Keaton Slovis with pressure, unloads it and connects with Vons again for the first down. It's first and goal this time. Third quarter has been Vons' quarter in this game right here. Doing a good job getting himself open, nice wide target, and he's able to get the ball in and, and, and really getting some good chunk yardage down the field. It's just tough with USC. It's kind of like pick your poison as far as who to devote more resources to covering. As you see Vaughn's matched up this time with Mo Osling, who's had a very good season at cornerback for UCLA. But USC really has four guys in London, St. Brown, Vons, and McCoy. They're all very capable of beating you at the receiver position. First and goal. Here's Male Pei lowering the shoulder as he's down inside the three. And on that play right there, I was kind of looking Malle at Pei. Vons through a crucial block to get caught open up the field. 
Right back to Male Pea into the pile, and he is held up and smushed. That's Otito Obonia, who was shaken up briefly earlier. Back in there, makes a nice run-stopping play. Good to see Obonia back in there. In on the was a little nicked up earlier in the game. The that's, a, that's a big man that's in there right Third now. So if UCLA were to lose him, it would be very difficult for them to kind of maintain that defensive line. The defense has stepped up as the season has gone along, especially the defensive front. St. Brown at the bottom of your screen on third and goal. Look for him on the inside slant route touchdown. That's USC, Amon Ross, St. Brown. Brown.